The funding for the grant is provided through the proceeds from the sale of Reynolds Specialized Hospital. Some examples and works uh, being provi uh, provided funding for today include clearing demolitions of property slated for redevelopment, streetscape improvements, roads resurfacing, municipal building improvements and repairs, funding of various redevelopment studies and master plans, downtown business district improvements, sanitary sewer and flood mitigation improvements, just to, to name a few. Um, now we have some checks to present, so I'll ask uh, Reholder Fiscal Chairman Chris Hudak to join me in the front. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak and make these presentations with you this evening. And on behalf of the Fiscal Committee, we're very proud uh, to make, be making these presentations uh, tonight. Uh, last year, we went through the process of the sale of Reynolds Hospital. And it was a, a difficult process, but one that will solidify the county's financial future. And in addition to keeping many of the services we have in place intact, we did realize probably one of the highest yields of a sale of a county <coughs> nursing home in the state of New Jersey. Um, we're going to be taking those proceeds from the sale and we're going to be applying them to tax relief in various forms in future years. And I think this is such an appropriate use to take dollars, to give it directly to the municipalities of Union County, and to put to work that money for projects that you know are going to affect your residents the best. Anytime you talk to a mayor or a council member, uh, or a city administrator, if you ask them, say, hey, if you had $25,000, $100,000, what could you do? And every good mayor and elected official always has a laundry list of projects. So we're very proud to be participating in that tonight. With that in mind, our first presentation this evening will be to the borough of Roselle Park. We have with us this evening, and we try to go alphabetical, however, they have a council meeting, so that uh, that gets some priority. Uh, we have uh, Councilman Joe Petrosky and Councilman Rich Templeton. Please come up. And we have a presentation of seventy-five thousand dollars. to undertake a master plan and do a feasibility study of their sewer hydraulic system to address NJDPPA water quality in their urban areas and issues. There you go. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, on behalf of Roselle Park, uh, Mayor and Council, I want to thank the freeholders, okay, thank you. and uh, Jeremy, right okay, and the Vice Chairman, <laughs> and all the freeholders for uh, your support in this. You know, and we'll be to appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Take that with you. Don't try to catch it. All right. <laughs> we have uh, from the Township of Clark, Councilman Bill Smith, and we have Dean Russo, who's the head of downtown development. I'm going to give a check for $30,000. I'm Councilman, uh, Council President Bill Smith on behalf of Mayor Salvon, of course, of the Town Council, 
the administration and citizens. I want to thank you for the grant, uh, the money. I brought Team Russo with me this evening. Uh, our downtown Westfield corridor is uh, in bad need of some redevelopment, some streetscape, uh, etc. So Dean is spearheading that as one of the business owners and owners of property on that street. Uh, we're doing a public-private uh, venture right now to get together, come up with some ideas, and this money's going to help us do the study for that. So uh, Dean, would you like to say anything? I'd just like to thank the uh, Board of Freeholders for this uh, check and the opportunity to spearhead our um, objective on Westfield Avenue. We really, really appreciate it. I've had a business in Clark for, uh, well, in Union County for 27 years, two years in Clark, and we're really looking forward to doing something with uh, Westfield Avenue. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Holders, as well. You guys have been a great uh, partner for that over the years. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I believe the mayor of Cranford delayed in getting here, so we're going to hold him. And next we have the city of Elizabeth and the recreation director, Paul Desson. Uh, and can we please ask uh, freeholders uh, Estrada and Granadas for coming as well? Sorry, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. On behalf of Mayor Chris Bowlich, who is a very big supporter of recreation here in, the, here in the city of Elizabeth, we're going to use this money to demolish the old uh, Polish home on uh, over in Bayway, Bayway Polish home. Uh, this is going to enable us to open up some uh, space, and the plan, the second phase will be a synthetic turf soccer field for uh, many of our kids uh, throughout the city of Elizabeth. So again, on behalf of Mayor and City of Elizabeth, thank you for this work. very much on behalf of the residents of Kenilworth. We thank the, uh, yes. the board for the, the Roth uh, activities. $36,000 will go a long way, but uh, I can't really tell you where it's going because as a former councilman who just got back reappointed two weeks ago, I'm not quite sure what uh, we're using the money for. Go to the county manager. Cover me here. Cover me here. I have the, I have the chief sheet. <laughs> it's going to be used for borough hall rehabilitation. Um, roof overhang replacement and renovation of your public restrooms and common areas. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to jump back alphabetical. Uh, we have from the Township of Hillside, we have Mayor Angela Garrison and Councilwoman Melania Sachs. Uh, 
on behalf of the Township of Hillside, all the uh, residents, we are very excited to be able to continue our infrastructure initiatives. Hillside has had a lot of interesting work that we've done in the last year and a half, and now we're able to actually do some more roads. So we are very grateful to our partners of the county. Thank you so much. Councilman with me. I have yep. Councilman Mike Martin. Oh, Councilman Hi, Martin. Very well. I'll keep it short and sweet. I just want to uh, thank the Freeholder Board for this $30,000 towards our sidewalk program in Garwood. I know we have residents that have been on our waiting list for three, four years, and so hopefully in bringing this back to the borough, we'll be able to give them those sidewalks that they deserve. So thank you for your help. City of Linden, and we have my mayor, Derek Armstead, and I'm uh, sorry, Council President George Alvarez is here. Gentlemen, come on up. Mayor? Thank the uh, Board of Chosen Freeholders for the $115,000 that we're receiving. Uh, in case any of you were wondering, if you're not sure of, of a proper answer, if you don't want to rely on cheat sheet, just say various projects. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, ours are, uh, this money is going to be used for uh, various infrastructure. In that case, it's going to be used to improve some roads uh, that are de in desperate need of repair. And uh, I'd like to thank you all once again. Uh, for your generous donations. Also, notice that we received one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. That's pretty good, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering, you know, you know, just for your, your own edification, uh, we have uh, uh, Chairman Jalo and we have uh, Freeholder Hudek, uh, who are both from Linden, and we also have Bruce Bergen, uh, uh, Freeholder Bergen, who's uh, not from Linden, but he's worked in Linden for quite a while. In fact, I closed on my first house with Bruce Burton. <laughs> I'm thinking of it because we have three guys up here that uh, maybe that kind of, you know, helped us out a little bit. But anyway, thank you all so much. generous. Um, we're going to use this for a community message board, which we sorely need. You go through the center of town and ours is falling apart, and for parking lot expansion. Uh, our retail uh, area in town is really in need of some upgrade. Um, you know, eight years ago I was here when I was leaving office, and I wanted to thank the freeholders for all the joint projects we did together over the years. And I'm looking forward to working with you in the uh, next four. So thank you, and the residents of New Providence, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. 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 Thank you, Mayor
$55,000, which is going to help us with a uh, pedestrian safety project. Uh, we have been a uh, transit village for a while, and this will help our right outside of our train station, uh, keeping pedestrians safer and a little bit more, more aesthetic. So I appreciate everything uh, that you, uh, your generosity here. So thank you very much. Real the Carter. We next have the City of Plainfield and Rick Smiley, the City Administrator, is here. Back into the sewer 
system. And so with that in mind, uh, having said that, once again, I want to thank the freeholders uh, for this grant, and it will certainly be good, put to good use. Thank you. And I just want to remind everyone that uh, each of these grants required a 100% match. So we're, we're talking about $1.5 million in county money, but we're talking about $3 million in public works projects this year for Union County residents, all which will be completed within this calendar year. It's a good thing. Next, we have the mayor of Scotch Plains, Mayor Glover. Check for 105000 Well, I finally figured out how you pack a room. Give <laughs> out some money to your friends. <laughs> you know, you'll get me all the time. Well, you want to take a picture or I can make a comment? First and foremost, I want to thank you, Chairman Freeholders, the entire board, for your generous contribution uh, to our community. I can assure you, we do have a long list of uh, a laundry list to apply this monies to, and uh, I'll tell you what they are in a minute. But I really sincerely mean, on behalf of myself, my entire governing body, 23,500 residents, we truly appreciate this. And now I'll share with you a couple of things we're going to do, but I won't bore you all. Obviously. Uh, we have infrastructure issues. We have some road resurfacing projects that we are looking at. And then we have several municipal properties that we are going to work on their infrastructure. And if I may share one of them with you. My town, we have a nine-hole golf course. It's called Scotch Hills Golf and Country Club. In its heyday, it was known as the Shady Rest Golf and Country Club. It was America's first African-American owned and operated golf club. Their play, its professional, was a gentleman called John Shippen. He was an African American. American. He was, he was America's first professional golfer. We're going to use a piece of this money to restore what was the Shady Rest Golf and Country Club's Clubhouse to bring dignity back to this American, you know, treasure. I mean, it is truly an, an American original. So. I can assure you, we will be preserving part of our township, but more importantly, a part of American history for future generations to enjoy. Yes, we'll get our roads done. Yes, we'll fix our buildings. But that is something we, as a community, as a county, as a state, as a nation, will take great pride in. Thank you. We have Margaret Mandrowski, the Deputy Mayor, Anthony Cancro, the Administrator, and Sam Martini, the Assistant Town uh, Engineer. Deputy Mayor, we're going to use it for three things. We're going to buy decorative recycling and garbage containers for our downtown. We're going to build a rain garden and it's going to connect to a stream embankment improvement project in our downtown. And last, we're going to do demolition and rebuilding of a bus stop in our critical downtown area between Morris and Mountain Avenue. Thank you. 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 Th
I also want to thank all the freeholders for this grant and past grants. It was very, very good to spring to and thank you. I also want to thank Mr. Sam Martini, who is our Director of Engineering, who helped me prepare this grant. Thank you very much. Free on the right, would you like to come down to the next presentation? Absolutely. Our next presentation will be the Township of Union. We have Mayor Manny Figueroa here. <laughs> I'd like to thank the uh, Board of Freeholders. Thank you very much for uh, extending your gratitude to all of the communities in Union County, giving back to our residents. As elected officials, uh, we always need extra of this. And after the winter we had, we have that real sexy project to work on. Roads, roads, roads. It may not be the most beautiful, but when you're driving and it's a nice smooth tarp that you're on, you're going to appreciate so we thank you for this it's going to move ahead with our uh, 3.2 million that we put aside this year for our roads in union this will help resurface many other roads so thank you very much and our final presentation will be the township of Winfield and we have Margaret McManus from the township county uh, township uh, committee some of our sidewalks and our municipal building which is now 75 years old. So thank you very, very much. Side couldn't be here tonight, but he asked me to express his thanks to the Board of Chosen Freeholders. The borough will receive $45,000 in using it for road infrastructure repair. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for, for coming out today. I just want to thank the uh, Fiscal Committee, uh, especially the Chairman, Freeholder Chris Hudak. Uh, this was an idea that he had uh, to give back to our residents, to give back directly to the municipalities. All of you guys do a wonderful job. Um, being stewards of your towns and your local communities. And, you know, I, I got to look at the requests for, for grant money, and I'm saying, I'm telling you, looking through the requests, there were, you know, so many projects that are that are just well thought out and, and, and very important for our community. I wish there was more that we could do, uh, um, you know, than, than just to do, you know, just to give these checks today. Um, of course, um, it's, it's only a fraction of what anyone asked for. But uh, we hope that it will go a long way towards um, helping you to achieve your goals. So thank you again for coming out.